¿Qué te hago? A ver. Human beings don't mix with animals. <laughs> And bring it because we're going to use that water for our coffee. All right. You don't like it, eh? you don't like coffee. I like it, it's good. It's only the, the sugar is a distance, but it's nice. I don't like too much sugar. You taste sugar in this? No. Oh. There is a little, there is sugar, a little bit sugar. You taste the sugar? Don't no. really taste the sugar. I no, there's no sugar. You don't taste the sugar. Yeah, I haven't tasted the sugar. It's all in your mind. You know that there's sugar in there and you see the high sugar content. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a reaction video. Who made it to the top? Coco Mama of the Most High. Blessed ones, lazy gang, personal persons, inakakus, Coco Mama lovers, heras, keyboard reactors, notification, gen, 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 silent viewers, Julius, my able moderators. You all are all amazing. Without your presence, Yanni, how come? I can't wait on this show. Well, because of your presence, I can't wait. I can't wait to come back and drop it. What the what? If you love me, I love you back. Grab something. Sharp, sharp. We've got no time to waste that. Got my bottle of water here. Who do we have here? Should I start from the die hand biggest fan of Baba Marwa? He shocktalized me. I was minding my business on Facebook. Guess who I jammed there? Doreen Small. Hey, it seems like our madam got a kindergarten. Like she takes care of the children. How can this one? That does it make sense? This is like you know, I'm I'm lost here. You have a kindergarten. You look after the children, and yet you are condoling evil. And yet you cannot call a spade a spade. Anyway, that is psychic. But I'm okay if I finally responded to Baba Maro. <laughs> hey, let me laugh in Swahili. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want. Must, it was you start licking us. You cannot go back. It's going to be difficult. They will keep expecting. Even when, from what he said, his children were abused, okay? He was abused on the live stream of Baba Marwa. Marwa never said anything. How can he say something hmm? when he sees you as his worshiper? When he sees you as somebody that he's doing favor for, you understand? Giving you shout out that doesn't work. <laughs> anyway, he responded and he was like, see, the problem you have is you don't want to be corrected. You don't like to be told the truth. That is the problem you have, Baba Marwa. I'm happy that he's speaking up now. Mm, it's coming late because we've been more than a year. We've been seeing these things and talking about it. Don't, go, don't tell me why all of a sudden. Get Riba finally posted, guys. Should I start from Mr. Cecil, French town boy, going to the school? This guy is doing amazing work. I know I'm seeing some comments here and there. Respect my opinion as I respect yours. You understand what I, I hear you. You felt like he humiliated Passy, even though he was helping Passy out. Guys, this is preamble. We must start from somewhere. Okay. He took Pasi to this school, and I'm very sure that it will not go well with the Marowas. Like, among everybody, they didn't take Davoginio. They didn't take Conqueror's mom. I mean, KB and our trench town boy. Okay? He didn't take anybody along to go to this school to do amazing job that he did. He went, and he was really there for the kids, giving them motivational talk. It looks like he was a teacher before he got retired. Hmm. Mr. Cecil was also fighting with Rocio's cat. I love Mr. Cecil in a nice way, not in the other way. I love Mr. Cecil's way of doing things. Hmm. If you need to be reprimanded, he goes ahead. He doesn't pretend. Even you can tell that he's not an animal lover. He believes that, okay, an animal and human being shouldn't be eating together. Because this cat wouldn't even allow him to have his coffee in peace. Come and see him again, dropping it with, with on top of Kebe's head. Kebe was trying to teach him how to eat, what to eat. Your coffee is so sweet. Oh, we don't use condensed milk in Kenya. Oh, we don't eat a lot of sugar in Kenya. 
Well, I think we must start from our Mr. Cecil going to the school and kicking Pasi under the bus. Hey, Pasi, Pasi is a very, very ungrateful, shameless girl. Nobody should tell me who she's a widow. I'm so freaking what? If you're gonna do Kana Kanari, not to your sponsor and not to, when you see camera, she's actually a content creator. What do you think when this guy asks you, do you have money in your pocket, in your purse? You said no. And he asks you, okay, since you don't have money, give me your purse. Since you know you have money, you must not give him your purse. This guy is not smart. Like, you must not hand in your purse to a man because you might have other things that he shouldn't supposed to or he's not supposed to see. You understand? But she went ahead and gave her purse to Mr. Cecil. Mr. Cecil opened her purse and saw some money there. Automatically, Percy got embarrassed. Some people felt bad for her. Oh, Mr. Cecil, don't be like this. Even though you are helping her take her children to school, her son to school, but you shouldn't be embarrassing her like this on camera. Why didn't Kebe, because Kebe is the one behind that channel, trench town boy is kebe baba made it very clear when they were having their breakfast you need to teach me cap cuts editing up so why didn't kebe edit these things out even when baba was coding Rororo's cat because after baba did this i'm very sure that Rororo watching this video is peace 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 up and pissed off with mr cecil Imagine you are in my house and you are embarrassing my cat like this. You are throwing my cat out like this instead of pampering and nurturing my cat that I miss so much. Roro Roro is not happy with Mr. Cecil being in that house as we speak. There are so many young teenagers there in the kitchen. I'm going to show you the footages. I'm just saying just in case if I forget. What are they doing there? Why can't they get at least a grown-up lady? to cook or an elderly person like them. What are they doing with those young, young girls in the kitchen? I'm just asking. You guys should make this thing make sense to me because I don't understand. Guys, let's look at Mr. Cecil's clip before we move to others. What I didn't understand and what you may not understand is the most important time in your life is now. Everything you learn now, you'll apply it throughout your life. I say that to say this. When you get to high school and you start doing trigonometry and physics and chemistry, you may never use it in apply it in your life unless you're doing those areas of discipline. Let me tell you something. Every time you can help somebody, you should help somebody because if somebody helped you. Always remember that. Yeah. Every time, even if Sometimes you're on your, even, even if you're on your last. <laughs> Sometimes I help. Let me help. Yeah, I mean, you you have a pocket book. You have a pocket book walking around and no money in there. Give, let me give, give me see that pocket book. <laughs> no let money. Me, no, let me see. <laughs> let me, no, let me see. I, I don't want you to show me. Let, can I see? <laughs> can I see? <laughs> You want to see a, a lady's pocket? You have, you have something private in there? Of course. Do you have anything private, personal in there? No. Okay. <laughs> Look at the price. That one I want to go and buy a phone. So I want to buy a No means no. Hey. No that means no. You me that I, I buy bundles. That's I. I but you said you don't have any. change. So I want to Okay, let us. me ask you a question. When you said you didn't have any money in there, that was that the truth or it's false? It's not true. <laughs> it means you have you have barely no, minimum. The money that I have it, it's mine. It doesn't matter. The money I have is mine too. <laughs> yeah, no, it's yes, it's you. But maybe you have you have uh, another money, another one in place, so you can uh, you can use that one. And no, but it's mine. It's mine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but you know what happened? <laughs> if you do this, this. Me, some of you guys saw this as embarrassing moment for Percy, okay, on camera. Why didn't Kebe 
this thing actually was uploaded on Kepa's channel. Why didn't he edit it out? Me, what I saw here is an experienced guy tutoring and teaching a young village girl stuff. Okay? Teaching her how to behave. Teaching her how to be selfless. Don't just be on receiving side. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. You can give no matter how little. That's why Mr. Cecil told her, always give because you know that someone has helped you. Even if it means your last cobble. Try to impact on another person's life, just like what somebody has done for you. For Mr. Cecil to say or to do this, he has already seen the other side of Percy, okay? You guys should not be completely sentimental. I understand. She's a widow. She's going through. She's trying to save something for her kids. But the moment she knew that she lied, she shouldn't have, if she's a smart girl, she shouldn't have even went ahead and embarrassed herself. Really? She embarrassed herself first before Mr. Cecil embarrassed her back. And Mr. Cecil is a very straightforward human being. I like people like that. I don't think he pretends like my personal person, J.U. I think J.U. is on the side of pretending to the Marwa. Mr. Cecil, very straightforward. Mm -hmm. Mr. Cecil is starting a charity work over there in Kenya, and he's looking for <laughs> collaborators. He's asking for help from international people, of course. He's doing an amazing job. He's even doing better than... Uh, he's not from Kenya, but he's doing better than Mr. Kenge. Will Mr. Kenge be happy with this move? We will see how the thing goes. Or will he feel something? He Will he feel intimidated? Hey, Mr. Cecil disciplined Rocio's cat. Would this go well with Rocio? <laughs> I doubt it. Someone told me, Coco Mama, can you react on how Mr. Kenge has been insulting and humiliating his father-in-law, Louis? I've got nothing to say there. They are humiliating each other. They are giving it to each other back to back. What do you think? For Baba Marwa to come in and be doing some of this job or to working and painting and doing these moving things without hiring someone to do it. That will tell you that Mr. Lewis may have chow his money. I'm just saying. So they are doing it to themselves. We know Marwa already with his big mouth. Wherever he is, he will still do what he's known how to do. Mr. Cecil, again, they have language barrier, definitely. So you wouldn't even know because me and you, we may not understand Spanish, Portuguese, whatever language they speak over there in Argentina. So a local person will actually let us know who is insulting who more. Okay? <laughs> because Mr. Cecil speaks 100% his language. Whereas Marwa speaks the language we understand. We don't even know who is insulting who here. It might actually be the opposite. I'm just saying, hey, don't think because Mr. Cecil is hardworking, elderly person like Koko Mama that he's an angel. We don't know actually what Baba Marwa, especially off camera, you don't know. Because guys, look at the garbages, the iron sheet that Marwa tried his best to remove. It's still lying there. Hey, their dog, um, their dog used to hide there. Now their dog is running like headless chicken, looking for a hiding place, looking for a place to, of comfort. Their dog is also suffering this one. So would that be another reason why they refuse to move these things? His <laughs> mother is my first daughter's age. Yes. And even younger, because my mom is 74. Your mother is 74? Yeah. yeah. 1974, born 1974. Oh. Yeah? Yeah, so your daughter is even older than my mom. No, no my mother is not, not about 79. Oh, 79. Okay. So, this is, this is like your yeah. grandfather? Yeah, yes, he's my grandfather. He's like my grandfather. Get down. <laughs> Human beings don't mix with animals. <laughs> Can we move to the Treba? Collaborating with one of Kebe. Again, pity party. God, God, God. How can you be abusing minors? How can you be sleeping with small, small children and you are calling the name of God? Shame on you, Getreba. Why are you saying that everything that people say, 
oh, all they are saying is rumor, is a lie. Everything that we are saying is a lie. And you were there for more than one week. How long did he stay there in jail? You were there until someone rescued you, village grandpa. Well, my JK said that his father was not the one that bailed Git River out. But I'm doubting it 100%. We, we don't know, but the truth must be out. He said, oh, I don't want to say too much. Git River is actually, I'm going to cover his son's face when I share this here because I cannot be like him. Git River is abusing his son. I mean, you can imagine. He's doing this even to his own son. He got no conscience in him. He lets his son to do hand washing. A small boy like that. I'm not sure his son is up to six years. Or let me say that he has small stature. I don't know. But they are well. So-called borehole. They call it borehole in the village. We call it well. Borehole is something different. Borehole is when they bring in the, the machine, the Indian machine, and they go, go down, 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 and pass through rods or pipes on the ground. That's the one we call borehole. So now their well is open and this poor child goes there to draw water out. Gitriba is not even shy. Gitriba is not even ashamed to share this. So what is he waiting exactly? You are building a house in a young hands there where you can't even secure your well. Somebody, a total stranger, who might be roaming around in the bush might actually fall inside there at night. Guys, Safety concerns there. In the comment section, a lot of people raise the same issue. Get ready, but do something about this and don't let the children go around in the well playing. Let's listen to them. Actually, today I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Today I'm happy to see you. I'm very happy. Maybe Mr. Cecil. Yes, sir. I was, well, I was sad the days ago. Yes. So and uh, I, maybe I know you. You know my story mm -hmm. about. I've my, heard rumors. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's rumors. Yeah, it's not true, guys. Yes. So you know but that, I, I don't want to talk more. Let, let, let more me things yes, don't because, talk a lot about it because it's yes, something that is under the. Yes. Law. Yeah. Yes. So that's why I don't. But want you know, guys. To talk yes. A lot of people are trying to put Tim Maro down. Yes. A lot of people are in the village mostly are trying to put our names down. Mm. They are trying to bring us down, mm. but we cannot go down. Mm. You see. They are trying to put our names to be people bad, bad people, bad people, but you are not bad people. Mm. These people are very mischievous mm. and they are really... Oh, they are bringing us down. Oh, they want us to be down. We don't want you guys to be down. You guys are down already. You guys are crawling on the floor. We want to rescue you guys. We want you guys to do the right thing and everybody will be alright. We've got no bad blood. We've got no hatred. On any of you, what we are doing here is we are just reflecting on what you guys have done. And we may So I don't understand this. Guys, this Kebe is trying to set Mr. Cecil up without him knowing. Why did I say that? Some of this stuff he's doing, it shouldn't be like this. You are the one recording this guy. You are basically, this guy got no clue about what is going on. Doesn't know what to edit, what to remove, what not to remove. You can see Mr. Cecil struggling, you know, taking his time to take the stairs before he went inside Baba Marwan's villa. Guess who was behind recording him? Recording everything without editing it out. Why are you like this, Kebe? You are a little devil, a little demon. You know that. After doing all that, you upload it like that and make this guy look like he's struggling with his life or he can't even walk or something. As soon as Mr. Cecil got in, he went by the corner of the entrance door to remove his shoes. Why not Kebe? Still putting camera on him. He's having his coffee. He asked you to try his coffee. Do you know who you are talking to? Do you know his influence? This guy, uh, you look at his profile. I don't want to share it here. But someone has shared, someone in Yankee has shared what she knows about Mr. Cecil. He has mingled with a lot of big, big people here. He has influence. He has connections. And Kebe knows it. I hate when you are using someone at the same time, you're trying to bring that person down. Why are you not editing these things? Why are you oversharing? Why are you making this guy look like he is there, but also making problems? You understand? Guys, 
some of these things is it comes natural everything is not for camera it comes natural for you to be like don't be like this you know people are helping you you are a widow we know what you are going through we know what it is we know what one to have young young children like this four children for that matter and no father figure we know what you are going through but be sincere be honest do what also you can do. Don't always be on the give me, give me, complain, complain side. Don't complain. And when somebody is looking at you, the person can see a new phone, see you with a nice handbag. Now, I'm not saying that her handbag is nice, okay? Because I was even looking at her, the way Mr. Cecil was bringing... This kibbe should stop this. Mr. Cecil also, you know, the way, if you are not a content creator, even us, how many years now we still struggle what to share, what not to share? When I went to Turkey, hey, some of my people, I know it's tough love. They came for me. Coco Mama, don't be doing this. Why are you showing us where you are washing your underwear? Why are you sharing too much? I think you went there to enjoy yourself, but you ended up vlogging and vlogging and vlogging and vlogging. And I was even asking myself, what kind of vacation did our mama go to? I'm like, it is what it is. I wasn't even thinking about it. I thought I was doing the right thing. Okay, us here still we are not getting it right. Look at Baba Marwa. He even show us where he is peeing constantly. He just stopped doing that because he can see mm, that the brand is not branding anymore. He needs to do some damage controls. So Kebe, being around this guy, knows that this guy at least is making his channel to channel. View is viewing nicely. Understand? View is what equals to money. So you know all these things, and you're trying to build him, you're try, trying to tell him, he was even telling him, oh, you have gotten almost 2,000 subscribers. The guy, not knowing much about YouTube, was focusing on the watch hour. The guy was thinking that they misunderstood each other, basically. And now, he gave you a cup of coffee to try, his cup of coffee to try. And after trying, you are telling him that it's too sweet. You automatically making him look like at his age he's still eating a lot of sweet or he's still you know some western people they like their tea whatever sweet while others they don't really like like i noticed in kenya they don't too really like um sweet tea or sweet stuff they are more on the fresh milk you get me they are more on tea actually than coffee now this is where you should be sensitive because you are dealing with someone from a different culture. You understand? And even if you have had such conversation, you should be able to edit it out. Me, if I'm going to embarrass myself, let me be the one embarrassing myself. Let me be the one that have recorded, saw it, didn't edit it out, and I shared it here, and I'm getting the embarrassment firsthand. But if I've done stuff with someone and the person did not get my consent and you can tell that clearly clearly you are portraying or making this person look like a bad person you still went ahead and put it out you, you end up being a bad person people can now see truly the kind of person kebe is this guy was struggling to get in inside the house instead of you to hold him by the side or hold his hand and support him you no know, you are telling him yeah you can go up go up good you recorded this. Huh? But you are showing off with other stuff that he got there. You are sticking around him everywhere he is. You will even eat his shit. So long as you are grabbing your views. Shame on you, Kebe. Oh, we are pulling you down. We're pulling you down. This is how you connive. This is how you... you guys, these guys are doing too much. How someone with her open mind wanted to do business with you. You grabbed everything because you want to be Mr. Available. You want to turn to another person. Mm, I'm chop and chop and chop and chop. Well, this is our U.S. mummies, like I said. They are the problems. They are the ones causing these things. Mm? Oh, my sponsor, my sponsor, my sponsor. Guys, can we watch Pablo K.E. before we call it a day? Because today, I really want to be sharp, 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 sharp. I don't want to waste time. There's a time we call that gossipers or what? I've never been a gossiper, man. I've never been a gossiper. So speaking my mind of saying 
seeing something which is wrong and we need maybe changes that's been called a gossiper he went silent on that you say that he went silent even you caution people working with us working with us is that what really you call brotherhood really you know brother let me tell you something the problem with you and this is something that will not accept but i'll tell you here on camera because you went live on camera and said all oh, these things so let me say it here Mara, you always tend to listen to that group that's around you than listening to the real issues that are on the ground. You know, most people look onto you, man. Because you're the one who brought and came and introduced the YouTube uh, thing in the village. Most people, young boys, youngers, look onto you. For instance, when you saw President failing, it's a whole nation failing. It's a whole nation failing. Truth hurts. Truth hurts. And I'll say it, whoever takes it uh, in a negative way, well and good. Well and good. But you know me, I speak and I don't insult. But I always say the truth. I don't insult. Because you know, uh, I've been getting attacks from people who are close to you, man. Uh, because of my stand. Because now they feel like I've betrayed you. That's what they feel. And that's why I want someone, even the last video that I did when my daughters were attacked. By the way, if you are a true brother, if you are a true friend, Maro, you should have condemned me being attacked in your life, my kids being attacked in my life. Even you, your, 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 your child that is not almost born, that is almost born. Pablo K.E. is stating facts here that we know already, you and I, we know. We know Marwa to be selfish, we know Marwa to be liar. You know, he lies, he, he doesn't care about his just egoistic like that, perfect guy. You know what I mean? For this Pablo K.E. to come out and stand now openly to fight back at Baba Marwa, will tell you that he has swallowed their lot. Like, he has... You saw Baba Marwa shading him also. Oh, my childhood friend that only comes around when stuff are there, when I am something. But when I was not in there, he was referring to Pablo K.E. Basically saying that Pablo K.E. wants his fame. And also avoid friends that only come to your parties, you know. Once you've made it, that's when you see them coming. Oh, you know, bro, you, are, you used to be my childhood friend. You are a good friend of mine. We grew up together. When you already made it. But in the process of making it, they were never there. So avoid such type of friends. These guys, all I can tell them is, the way they are speaking out, of course, Mara people, they are also there telling them off, oh, don't make your channel like this. So go back and talk to Marwa. You go to Marwa, people are so double standard here. You go to Marwa, you are fine. If Marwa is, guys, guys, tell me what to do. Oh, these guys, they are constantly on my neck. These guys, they are insulting me. They are screwing me. Should I continue to help? Did you ask your person, Marwa, what kind of help he has given to this family? Did you try to investigate? Did you try to hear from the other side? When it's Marwa, you support him blindly, just like uh, Doris Moore. After supporting him, you are back to your kindergarten. You are looking after children. Double standard life. Where is our conscience here? But there in the live stream, as a moderator, you are there. People are insulting this guy's children. You never said anything. It's okay because it's Marwa. You want to pacify Marwa. You want to keep him like that. You want to make him look good. Even when he has done nonsense, you will condone that. Mm? But then when you come to another guy's channel because you feel he's nothing, because you feel you can talk to him anyhow. Then you are telling him, oh, don't make your channel a drama channel. Don't do this. Don't be so negative. Don't enter. Don't let these people. Don't. Ah! If these guys will open up to talk about the stuff that Marwa has done, I'm going to still repeat it again. DJ may have died of high blood pressure. 
complications, pneumonia, diabetes, which is something manageable. Didn't you guys hear how Baba Marwa was rubbishing? Oh, she has always been sick. Sick of what? Something that is very common. Someone should not die of diabetes because, I mean, as long as I know, government hospital over there in Kenya is free. She can always go there to see her endocrinologist, get her diabetic pills, be taking it, be monitoring her sugar, monitoring her diet, what she eats. She shouldn't die of diabetes. People live as long as they can live in this life with diabetes. She shouldn't die of high blood pressure because she has her internal medicine there. There are doctors there. You can't tell me nothing. Okay? That will monitor her blood pressure, put her on correct medication. She will go in, go for her checkup. She shouldn't even die of pneumonia. She died out of frustration caused by the marijuana. These guys humiliated her. Left her with nothing. Left her with empty hands. Guys, what are you guys not telling me? This guy should be ashamed of himself. On top of it, you are still stealing from them. The worst happened to them. You are still, you are not even considering. You are still dragging this offense. I don't know whether their dad is still alive, but let me just call them offense because we've never, ever since DJ was alive, we've never seen any father figure around her. You understand? Now, Jamaica uncle. I expected Jamaica uncle. I don't know, but I expected Jamaica uncle to take care of one of DJ's son, especially the young one. Rather than going around sharing GoPro, <laughs> someone said that the GoPro camera that Jamaica uncle was sharing came from Tebu. <laughs> that is the cheapest one. You guys should leave me alone because my tired is tired. I mean, even if it's cheap, you understand, he's still spending money. Why? He's always, Jamaica uncle, the truth is, he's always giving to the wrong people. Imagine giving Getreba $1,000 and this guy is busy knocking and sleeping with minors. Hey, how can we forget about Gintu? Gintu and Mogesi with Ernesto. Ernesto is a brother to Obasa. Obasa is alleged baby mama of Mayuguno. Now, Obasa shared a video, okay, trying to still make it clear that it's not Mayuguno. She's saying all that. I don't even want to share her clip here. But what do I want to say there? Until a DNA test is done, the DNA test must be done. So people are calling her names. People say that she is a betrayal. People say, I'm listening more to Ernesto, her brother. Because Ernesto is clear. <laughs> Ernesto said it to Dintu that he was actually bribed. Okay, Mayugno paid him some money and told him exactly, stripped it, told him exactly what to say, told him to lie. And he said that he was drunk, that he didn't know what he was doing, but he knew that someone was directing him on what to say. Let's listen to them. That can see in one day. Oh, just in one, in one day. day. Okay. And, and, and uh, uh, did they script it to you that you have to speak this way <laughs> or uh, they told you that you have uh, this how you will speak on? How did they tell you? Can you give us you a know, story? How did you meet? Me, I was from where I was from. Uh -huh. I met them. Uh -huh. They told me come and speak something. Then me, I was something somehow drunk. Uh -huh. I go and speak. I speak. Just uh -huh. yes, raise your voice. I'm right. not lying. I speak. Yes. I spoken something that I, I didn't know. Me, you know, you've told me. First, us have told me, and you've told me. I didn't know what I was speaking about. Yeah. You know, me I was speaking. How? You know, they could tell me speak this way. So it's like directing. Uh -huh. They were directing. So, so they know that uh, uh, you have already consumed the money, or uh, you are going to get the money. So you because have to speak they this way. Have nothing. Yeah. Okay. So, so they took advantage of your 
you are due to the pocket demand. Uh -huh. Me, uh, um, me, money, you know, money. Money it's, talks. It, no, money talks, feed me. You can see, like now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, are, you are oiling. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm oiling myself, I'm <laughs> working. Uh -huh. um, to make sure that you are getting a living from yeah, there. Yeah. So, uh, what you're always about is money, and whenever you get money, everything going to be going ah. forward. I'm not after money. You know, money can you, you can't give me money to go and kill somebody. You can't give me money to go and do a wrong thing in a wrong way. What about? Yeah, you what? know, uh. I do do things that they know that, you know, they are there is what we call government mm -hmm. or law. Mm -hmm. I can't go against the law exactly. because I'm under the law. So it's the, the law that governs me. So, so if you're talking about the law is governing you, what about at the time now? You went at that video. You know, whenever somebody can talk about, okay, uh, if the law governs, uh, did you think that um, uh, are they guilty or they're not guilty? Not a lawyer, but what I can tell that that's guilty because... I'm listening more on Ernesto because he's clear. You can see he's more open. That's why his father kicked him out. Because these ones, they collected money from Mayogono. So they have to do whatever Mayogono wants them to do, including Obasa. Obasa is playing a victim. Now, we need DNA. Period. Period. End of the story. Because it looks as if everybody is coming to say, oh, I'm not the father. Oh, And it looks like Obasa did a lot. You know? I don't want to talk to her like that because she's a minor. Though some people claim that she's not a minor. She has actually been married and left her husband, that she's in her 20s, early 20s. Some people claim that she's 22, been married, and this one is her second child. She has another child from her previous marriage. I'm not sure. So many hush hush there, so I cannot quote what I'm not sure. So now, I'm still going to see her as a minor who is naive, who doesn't know what she wants. Who is in love with Mayoguno? Who was in a situation with Mayoguno when she was really, really small? Possibly maybe when she was 12. Guys, I came from a, a similar background. So when I'm saying this stuff, I'm not just saying it because, oh, you hear us. I'm talking out of experience. Poverty plays important role on how our girl children behave, okay, in the society. If you are not from the middle class, if you are not from upper class, not from well-to-do family, you will see that the girl children will be exposed to stuff like this. Early sex, early knocking and everything, you know, guys taking advantage, early marriage as well, teenage pregnancy, it results to that a lot. Because, I mean, family, when you got not, you're looking at your children, they are dying of hunger. You cannot provide for them. So what would they do? Early in the morning, they are out. Some of them, actually, from there, would pick their pieces and become something in life. What I mean by that, some of them will actually struggle, not by doing stupid stuff, okay, or doing drugs and all that. Some of them actually start like that, building themselves. That's why my sister was telling me, oh, Koko Mama, have you done the tribute about my dad? Because... She has a lot already that she has done. I said, I don't even know I'm speechless. Because if I look at my dad, okay, I'm sorry to bring him here. I look at him as an orphan. His mom died after she gave birth to him. And he started using greater. You know, what do you call it? The greater. He started by using greater to process cassava. Well, there's something we call gare. Normally, you would take it to the mill. And then you peel the cassava and then take it to the machine and the machine will blend it. My father was blending cassava for people manually. He started like that, saving money and then sent himself to school. Why I'm bringing my dad to this is, you see some people, their upbringing, their background is really, really bad. But if you stay focused, you can still make it. Obasa is doing the right thing now. But what I don't like is that part where, because... Maybe she has something for Mayoguno. Maybe they are still in knocking business, you understand? Or Mayoguno promised her something, promised her we don't know. I don't like the fact that she's protecting Mayoguno, you know, trying to save Mayoguno's face. I don't like that portion. When we can tell. If you watch Obasa and Mayoguno on television, on big television, 
Because you know when you watch with phone, it's not it doesn't show you the full image. Go back to that place where my ignore was forcing her to say that he's not the father of her child. Go back and see. You will see that Obasa was smiling. So it's very clear that it's so so clear that they got something. But on the other hand, she's trying. Now at least she goes out there doing handy job to take care of herself and her baby. Just like Ernesto. Ernesto said that, okay, I don't want to be bribed anymore. I don't want to be controlled. I don't want somebody to hand in something to me and tell me, talk like this, don't talk like this. Oh, claim this one. And no, no, no. He's working for his money. It, it should be like that. I have a suggestion here, okay? Gintu is doing well, a whole lot of nyash opening. Gintu is our savior right now, okay? He's the one like showing us what is happening there, the real thing, even though he used to be as leaker of our marrow. So after they fall out, okay, after they fell out, now he's coming and he's doing all these ones. But there's something, and I've said this again, I'm going to say it again. These other guys, Ernesto just got 1,000 subscribers. He needs this YT money, this oil money that we are enjoying here. He needs it just like the way Gintu needs it. When they do this big talk and big revealing stuff on Gintu's channel, they should also go to Ernesto's channel and do the same. To build him up a little bit, okay? They should do the same on Mogesi's channel. Mogesi has been here for a while, but he is not getting attention that, like the way Gintu is getting. They should spread these things out. Or would I say that they should open another talk show channel? At least the revenue that will be raised from there, they can share it equally. Maybe three of them will be running it because it has become like a show. You know, whenever I see three of them, ah, I balance, I say, oh, what do we have today? Nyash opening 101. Which chapter are we in today? You understand? I'm sure so many of you enjoy them like that. But it's not nice because, I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, who smiles to the bank? Begin to think about it. Don't be selfish, brother. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You're looking like a selfish person now. Whenever there's a big reveal and everything, all the stuff happening, it's actually coming from their side, from their family, not from you. We've never seen anything about you, Gintu. There's something that happened when Gintu went to reach out to young girls to distribute sanitary pads to them. I didn't pick on that, but I'm going to re make reference on that, okay? I noticed that in the background, there was two people hiding. I cannot tell, but I saw someone that looks like a girl. There was two people hiding at the back. What does that tell you? A lot is still going on in the background. I mean... This person at the back, behind, I'm sure they were not aware that camera, you know, camera goes far, okay? Now it looks like they were dragging things. So what does that tell you? Even though it might look like they're doing a great job, oh, exposing the marawas, exposing, even on their side, okay? There might be stuff that is of interest to them or they want to protect this person and expose that person. I'm not saying that Gintu is like that, but I'm just trying to tell you that everything must be done and done in a correct way. Okay? You must go around, don't cherry pick, don't... If you see something and it's not looking right, talk about it. It must not be attached to the Marowas. We are not like, oh, anti marawa here, even though we might look like, like we are anti marawa there's another reactor in Yabahanze that did a stress community post. Oh, Ma Mashubo is after me. If anything happens to me, just know it's Mashubo. I'm like, it's a tit for tag thing. What did you do to Mashubo? Whatever that happens between these reactors in Yabahanze, fighting each other, dragging each other, lying against each other, reporting each other to the police, another person coming to scream, oh, if anything happens to me. If anything happens to you, that person will not be responsible because if anything happens to him, he should be calling you also. You understand? So it's like that. I think uh, they must just sort their issues and stop all these ones. They are doing too much already. They must just sort themselves. I don't want to, like I said, sound like I'm one-sided. I'm supporting this person and I'm against this person. No, they must stop because... They are lying too much against each other. They are tarnishing each other's image too much. We know the person behind Mashubo Wan's younger brother, nine year old, that died mysteriously, was killed and thrown inside the well. We know the person behind it. 
Actually, the person behind this is related to one of the reactors. Okay? The article is out there. I don't want to bring legal stuff here. We know, but what are they doing? They're coming back now to change the narrative that Mashubo killed his brother. Imagine, even the person that his uncle is the suspect, when Mashubo once brother was sent to go buy sugar, where did he go? He went to buy sugar. What ended up happening? They saw him with sugar cane. His clothes was torn, abused, whatever, whether he was raped or, or whatever. We know the person behind it. The person will never come out to talk about it, only to twist things around and claim that Mashubo is the one that killed his brother. Will I say that they are doing this to protect their own or they are doing this? I don't understand. A whole lot of jealousy there. Mm. If you are getting this support, I'm not getting it. I must close your own link. We must all remain like this since you are the one getting the attention and I'm not getting it. Lies, lies, lies. Envy, envy, envy. Jealousy, jealousy, jealousy. Where would this take us to? You guys should stop this. You are one family there at the end of the day. We are even far from you guys. But you will drag us on top. Oh, you caused this problem between this person. Nobody has caused problem for me, in particular here. Whatever decision, whatever I have done, I did it with my eyes, Kuru Kuru. It's my choice. It's my thing to do whatever I choose to do. Nobody controls me. Nobody controls this channel except Coco Mama. You understand? You get it. That is the thing. If you watch to this moment, you know who you are. You are the best. Thank you all so much for coming in to support your mama. You guys are too much. You. Thank you for your love, your support. Like this video. Share us out. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about today's gist in the comment section. Let's make it as interactive as always. See you all in my another one. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.